Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about steam power washing. Uh, we just picked up this really cool steam power washer uh, online and uh, we'd love to steam power wash our vintage Volkswagens. So here's a 65 Beetle chassis that we're doing a Build-A-Bug project on for a client and this chassis needs some cleaning and I think the best way to clean your chassis is with steam and uh, power wash it. Uh, many guys will use a media blaster like sand or walnuts but I feel that stuff gets into the wrong areas and uh, steam with water is uh, the best in my opinion and uh, as you can see that front end needs some some cleaning it's got some mud some grime and uh, we are going to get to work you can rent these units we used to do that for maybe about 150 bucks 200 bucks a day but if you get a weekend uh, uh, rate a lot of times uh, the places will give you a day uh, rental, but you can have the unit for the whole weekend. So as you can see, my dad is starting to power wash the front end. Steam ha really hasn't kicked in yet, but to basically get the, uh, the juices flowing, so to speak, uh, in this unit, you got to just get spraying. Now the steam's starting to come out, as you can see. And this literally will melt off and push off all the grime, the grease, the gunk, the dirt, the sludge. Whatever you have on your front end. I mean, this front end and this chassis is actually in pretty decent shape. But uh, we've seen a lot worse, even with uh, caked on undercoating and whatnot. So, uh, really cool to, to use a steam power washer. And you can, you can power wash anything, really. I mean, my dad just did the backing place there. Even if you have an old motor, your old motor could even... Uh, go into the steam power wash as well. You can, you can power wash the engine tins and, uh, and the block itself. I think that's one of the safest ways to clean your motor. Here's the, uh, the rear area, the axles, the tranny. There's that rear horseshoe area that usually gets a lot of mud caked on it. And there's the steam coming out of the burner. Check it out. Like I said, we used to rent these units. I mean, for if you're just doing a first-time project, I mean, renting it is probably fine. I mean, we bought this because it's more cost-effective for us so, because we do so many projects. So, but that is one of the results that you see here. You see how now it's nice and clean. You still probably push a little bit longer, but for the most part, uh, that's pretty clean. Get into the kingpin, link pin areas, ball joint areas, steering box steering coupler a lot of those areas get really caked on with mud and as you can see that steam just melts that stuff away really really cool Let me check out clean that kingpin is link pin assembly very clean now somewhat of a rotisserie restoration <laughs> If you uh, get two guys, push the chassis up on its side, now you can blast the underside of the chassis, which I think is pretty cool as well. Make sure you have a pretty good area for this, uh, you know, a good sized backyard or, or front driveway where you have some space to, uh, to, to power wash. Now you can get into the tight areas, the areas you normally wouldn't get to unless you want to lift or something. As you can see, it's nice and clean. Tranny's clean. Horseshoe area is clean. You can air dry this with a compressor or let it air dry overnight and then uh, paint her up. Have any, email me. Any questions? Chris at classicvwbugs.com. Uh -huh.